And you're going to use newsprint. If you look behind Stephen, there's a whole pile of more newsprint. I have some here today. So start with your ink. And I'm going to use turquoise. And you'll see that it's tackier and stickier than um, acrylic paint. It's thicker. You put on a little slab. Not much more than that. Okay. If you put on too much and you realize it after the fact, scoop it up and put it back in. Okay, put on actually. I think that might be too much. And then you roll it out, and you roll it out vertically and horizontally, but don't get it onto the newspaper because remember the, the biggest deal about this is keeping it neat. And if okay. you are messy, and you slip everywhere, then you have to keep changing the newspaper and cleaning it up. So your goal in this is to be neat. And I will tell you that is probably is the hardest part for everybody. Is, is this for, um, like, the wall, too? Mm -hmm. Yes. Has anybody ever painted a room in a house? Yes. Yeah. With a roller? Garage. Okay, you have. So look, hear the sound? This is the sound you need. Ready? This is the sound. If it's making that sound, the ink is even. So I'll do it quiet. I'll stop talking. Ready? It means it's ready. It's even. It's perfectly distributed. I shouldn't flood the block. So then I take this and I roll it out. And I keep picking up more ink. And I roll it out again. Did someone use this? Um, yes, this is somebody's. This is a senior from a couple of years ago. So when you work today in your groups, you're going to work with three or four people with one printing station. At the end of the time together, you have to divvy up the chores and see who's going to clean it. I actually think I need a little bit more ink. Do you see how it's not covering the block? And this is why it's a great thing that it does not dry fast. Because if it did dry, if this was acrylic paint, parts of this would already be drying. So it has that additive in it to keep it. And I actually feel like this rare is not. Can you move that paper towel, please? What paper towel? Thank you. That still doesn't have I know. I'm wondering if the block is warped. Or this the brayer. If you're having this difficulty like that, change the brayer because that's probably what it is. I'm just going to make do with it because I can probably get that fine. And it's even here. It definitely, I think it's the brayer because it's happening in different spots. What's that brown? This is the brayer. That's the tool. Okay. So leave this here. Keep the handle out of the mess. I don't anticipate that this is going to be perfect. A lot of kids are thinking back to the time where this is a stamp and you want to take this block and you want to stamp the paper, but it's not true. This goes over the top. And then with the heel of your hand, systematically keep track. Either go left to right or up and down. Make sure you get every corner, all the little spots. And this is how you're making the image transfer. Now, the spoon is because you would use this. I prefer to use my hand to do it because I feel like I can tell if it's hitting. But if it's in, if you have thicker paper, you usually have to use a spoon just to get it to work. So you could use both. This is my proof. I'm going to peel it up. And can you get the picture from here? Ready? Say. Can I say? It's it's. You would fail. Yeah. So this fail. would not be a good print. I cannot use it because of that spot there. There wasn't enough ink. Um, the corner didn't have enough ink either. So when you start to print, even though I need three good prints, it could take you five to eight times to get three good prints. Okay? When you are done with this, you take a pencil, and it has to be a pencil, only a pencil, and just the bottom right, you write your name, and you write proof. And then you pin it to the bulletin board. Today, because you're just practicing printing, you pull one proof and you're done. If you finish early today, then I want you to revisit your book binding. You can stop.